hey guys welcome back to my channel Tokyo here so the other day I was on live with just Pam K another fellow youtuber she has her own channel about hair makeup lifestyle and everything in between her channel is amazing so we decided to do a live together on Instagram and let me tell you something this live was amazing so I'm really just going to get right into this video as you can see there were drinks 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 <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I did use the Too Faced foundation in the shade Chai and right now I am just brightening my under eye area and you know doing what I need to do with its concealer chestnut also from Too Faced and that's the Fenty Beauty contour stick. Basically just doing the snatch a guys, a snatch a And I'm going to blend that all up and hope for the best. But you guys, you know what? I just also wanted to vent. Listen, I have my camera and of course it came with a kit lens. Yo, the kit lens suck. I don't know, maybe I don't know how to use it, but for filming, they literally suck this is what i used in this video and there are certain pieces whereby you know like when i am out of focus or when it needs to focus on something like the lighting would change just because of that and it was just so annoying you guys it was really annoying but yeah anyway let's get back into this video right here so i love me some elf brushes honestly i love some elf brushes that is an elf concealer brush and to contour i used their elf buffering brush so basically i am just blending it all up and yeah you know just doing what i need to do with the sponge as well that's a real technique sponge just blending that concealer up and getting my eyes prepped for some eyeshadow yeah oh i didn't blend that right but it's cool it's cool it's cool you guys it's cool Yes, so that's the Beauty Bakery setting powder. I love this powder. It has become a staple in my makeup routine. It is way more affordable than the Laura Mercier a powder. And yeah, I love this powder. It just does what it needs to do. So I am reverse contouring and yeah, and using my micro smooth powder from Sephora to set that all up so that we don't look very ghostly, okay? <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I have so much to say. <laughs> anyway, now I'm using this muck setting spray. What? I can't talk. Muck setting spray. I usually spritz it away so that, you know, like the little chunks don't land on my face because it leaves like these little white dots. And I am just using the ColourPop palette that is my crease color, transition color whatever it is I decided to go with something a little bit simple and just pretty like my eyeshadow looks I they are not like over the top I like a simple eye look but something that makes a statement and I absolutely love this palette so I'm just blending that it was a little bit too dark for me so I tried to share it out by blending excessively so I managed to get it to like a little bit of like a gray a dark gray so just blended that into my crease and kind of angled it and you know brought it like a little bit on the outside almost make it look like an airbrushed finish and just blending it out with the brush that I use for my crease color to kind of like simmer it down because I noticed that I did apply a lot more product on that eye and I'm just taking this shimmery shade and just applying it on my mobile lid and you guys this brush from Sephora it makes imitating a cut crease very very easy and 
And then I went in with my Pat McGrath black pencil liner. Some mascara. You know what? I do not like this mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I do not like it at all. And then I went into this Morphe eyeshadow palette just to add a little bit of color. So I went into that deep green just to give like my under eye a little bit of, you know, color. But as for the mascara from Too Faced, I don't like it because it seems like a little bit too dry and almost clumpy. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. Anyway, this is a Wet n Wild mascara that absolutely does a better job. And just highlighting in the inner part of my eyes, I used a NYX lip liner, one of my favorite lip liners, and a lipstick from ColourPop as well. I think the lipstick is called a Quickie or something like that. Listen, I will verify what the name of that the lip shade is, but it is gorgeous and it's so buttery it's a pretty and then i went over it with a gloss i think this is the ColourPop ellery gloss a neat freak and just setting my brows with hourglass uh, brow gel and to highlight i think i dipped into an elf uh, highlighter so this is the finish guys i hope you enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe